Yeah. And um Maybe she found another cord Yeah. And I, I wish I would have just had my cord. I could have tested it that way. Uh, Xbox cord definitely has like the And see, that's the old one, all right? Yeah, that's the one the power. The one. So that was the first one that he had. Let's see. That, now, this belongs to a whole total different thing. No, nope. that's the first Xbox. No, nope, it's not that one either. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how I got that one. Well, somewhere in there, I'm thinking either one of the TV cords and the switcher makes up of this. So the one that she's got. It looks just like this. Oh, it does? Mm -hmm. It looks just like this. And these are also the same ones that go into your television. Yeah. So I'm thinking somewhere in there, the Xbox power cord is used for one of the TVs. Or it's been switched out. No, he carried it around. I know. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt he did. I carried mine around like that. Everywhere so. he'd go, he'd take that thing and hmm. anybody play, he'd go. But it just don't... It, um, I'm looking for like some type of indication for it to say it, but that's the only thing it could be possible. Like the power is not going to it for the fans. So operate. what do we do now? My recommendation would just be taking um, a trip to GameStop and getting another cord. It should be like 10 or 20, maybe 15 bucks, somewhere in there. Um, trying to use that as a power source and see if it operate that way. I first think that it's just a TV cord and the operating spot or the Xbox. I don't think the Xbox broken. That's uh, my personal opinion. You don't think it's going to I don't think it's broken. I don't think it's broken whatsoever. Oh, I think you think just, we just need a cord? Yes, I think it's the TV cord that we're using here is possibly one of the reasons why this doesn't power on. You won't get enough power to support it, so reason why the fan won't spin. So mm -hmm. that's why my suggestion is just going to be going to GameStop. Yeah, and get okay, I can go there and get it. Yeah. And um, my second thing would be if that does continue, then we'll probably have to contact Microsoft and have to send it off. Yeah. But that would be the other thing. So. Yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't want you to have to do that part first. I would just want to have to do this part second because everything actually works on it. As soon as, even though it's not supposed to do this. At first I thought it was like the air that comes and restricts out of it. Thought you may need to blow it out, but it wasn't that. It did power on. It did allow me to put a game inside. It did allow me to eject the game out. So, oh, okay. So all of those things. So it work. just must not be the... I think the power supply. Yeah. yeah. The power supply. So this is an old one? That's an old one. That's for the first Xbox. He had a bigger one than this one. And so he downsized from that one to this one. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big one. That's I, supposed to be a good one? Yeah. It's a better one. It's a whole lot smaller. You don't need that, which is the complication that we're running into. But I think that cord got switched up for another one because this isn't, and neither one of those were the cords for it. But that's the only thing I think that could possibly be it. Outside of that, I think this is a perfectly good Xbox. There shouldn't be nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, he always would leave it, or he would play with it and then quit. I finally just put it up. He didn't know where it was at. Because I felt like that my husband's going to check it with a meter. Is, you getting 110 on the cord? Is that the voltage that's required for it? Or? Yeah. A PlayStation 4 cord wouldn't work, would it? I'm not sure. Yeah. It's got power. So it supports it. I should eject the game. No, I ain't got the game. There it is. There's yeah, a game in there. Check the game. Turn it right back off. Switch over to this one. Right side up. Yeah, it's not bad. And you gotta watch that circle right there closely. So hit the power button on that side. On. The fan don't come on. And you see where the fan doesn't turn. Mm -hmm. It slightly turns. It'll probably so, kick back, it kicks back out. Right. Because the fan ain't running. Right. Yep. So, I mean, we can do a duster if you would have had those. Uh, I didn't have that on. That's what I actually should have got. A duster. 
It gets the power, just don't know if it's supportive for mm -hmm. it. That's what I'm thinking, the proprietary yeah. core. So this goes into where like Samsung makes their own specific or specific uh, cores for their cable boxes and TVs, mm -hmm. those type of things. Okay. So. so it may be the core. I'm assuming it's the core. Okay. I don't think anything is actually broken in the actual Xbox. 